Oh, welcome to another episode of Factory Otis. I'm episode 63. Oh, what, what I'm gonna do is try to get the railroad because I worked on the furnace area. Try to get the railroad done. And then I wanna take a look at this system because I told it to start up five minutes ago and still six of them are working and the rest is not because it's not an efficient system and we want more efficient systems. So the first thing to do is just, I need this loop later on. So what I could better just do simply is just make the loop so I have the loop and I can break down the loop uh, and start filling in the mistakes that I made here because there were a few mistakes not really but I need to place it down because then like some lights and solar panels uh, this one shouldn't be there so only the solar panel so there wasn't much so it was a mistake not mistakes then uh, we need one of these more right here uh, I should get the height level out. So if we just do something like this, then I know which height it needs to be. And then we place that there. I can see that it's not gonna work because the belts just need to be different. So if we just speed these up, at least, hopefully uh, that will do something in the future for me. Uh, and then what we need to do is at least uh, change them around so they don't interfere with with, uh, with the things that I'm building with the things I'm building so we just make it that and now we need a balancer I believe it was and that was combining into that space all right let's try that out we still have some copper ore we can put it on a belt and we can move the belt quite nicely uh, this one just needs to be inserted right there so it can also be removed uh, one more all right so that, that's cleaner at least hopefully well we can start building at least because I want to train that work and apparently it's really blocking my way right there because I want this one functional but that's going to have some problems at least so we just remove this right now and just try to oh there's another way there's no way he can make that corner so he can come out there and you try to make it so it fits in here if you also remove here a little bit more and then try to do it so it takes as much so it's not it cannot make that turn that's also not possible although it would be nice I guess so let's try that to you to you I don't want to, that it makes an, an, a turn like this that it makes a loop I want to make it that it makes a turn sort of and I guess that's because of the coal that I just screwed up completely because now I have a lot of coal in my inventory let's try again drop the coal off probably should use a chest that's faster most of the times place the chest down with an inserter and I place a coin in that chest and then make all go remove the wires uh, the, the belts so let's try again from you to this spot well this is one way to do it so let's just do it that way then although it's not nice it's it's a way to do it and eventually this will run out and we won't have power problems uh, let's place this one over here that's not gonna work all right meanwhile we also gonna live on these power cables apparently okay just remove this and then we don't need that all right um so that's done let's place this one down somewhere like um there fine then we can remove it uh trains are asking if i could put this train track back so i've I already have those installed so I want a safe crossing at least one there and then I don't need that but I can just do that yeah let's do that and then trains will come by again all right that's the train and it's gonna run around that red loop and then it goes back uh, what I then could ask, oh yeah, that's they, they can build here, that's nice, and they will build that one for me. 
then we can set up this one to be the iron train because we now have an iron train that doesn't go to this uh, yeah this is iron so that train that just came by stone cover stone I think it's this one yeah don't go there go to the mine stuff and then go to uh, furnace offload iron ore wait until you empty oh the train is just going around so it should go furnace offload iron ore yeah, and it has a train so now we don't get iron in our base anymore except for the little bit that's right here uh, meaning that we need to change the furnace around later but not yet so this train meanwhile is going to deposit a ton of iron ore right here so one train here six here so seven could be waiting on uh, eight there and that's more than the last map so that should be enough so it loads off really quickly as you can see so I don't really worry about too many trains here because they can offload really fast the only thing we need to do is I set the other one up in a different way. So red means needs to be no, I don't need that. Let's see how it's done here. I can make a map for that. Yeah, just do that. It should be fine because I place it on top of here. Should lay the wires for me down. And uh, the higher one was the plate, so this one we make iron plate. So instead of the old thing that I had, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. Uh, the maximum in the chest will be 4.6, so uh, 4.7, so 4600. So was, that's enough. 4600, and I hope that it goes all right. So as you can see, the, smelters, the robots go that way letting the smelters work and they should all work so I'm just looking at it they are lining up they should all light up eventually because the ores would take a longer time to reach the bottom sides meaning that this cell the input at least is working and output seems like it's working um, I don't know if it's told this last episode about further away or there was this episode but I worked on it uh, I made some um, some underground belts so these can just uh, put the items on the underground belts so they don't need to wait because these ones probably will wait you can see this one he's waiting for a gap but there are small gaps in between but he, this one doesn't wait for a gap so that's the difference and I might need more than three but I think this is okay not bad meanwhile all the rebels are just doing their things they're getting some iron ore putting it there and eventually the they are going to bring the iron ore right here I guess nope because it's not connected to green green should be yeah but the green is not like that and then right and you should all ask set the request and you too set the request so now iron plates will be brought in here and it will uh, load and unload. Uh, that will be iron storage. And meanwhile, the train is just going around, emptying the buffer and emptying out this one because this buffer was full and it's not going to drain really quickly. As you can see, it was four, four and a half thousand, four point seven thousand is now one point eight thousand, because this this can handle a uh, hundred and twenty plates on ho or hundred and twenty ores per second, and we can have at three times that capacity if we want in the end the only problem is that uh, we don't have refuel at the moment so that's the problem so what I might end up doing for the moment is just connect this big line that we have here a bit weird do it like this but let's go a little bit further And then make a request to chest for it. Are we in? Nope, we are not in the zone. We should be there. And then we would be in the zone. 
Like it's not really good to do that with a substation in a way. Let's see if we can go through this base without touching it. Nope. All right. They're not. Oh, come on. Refill me, please. And then we need a requested chest. Uh, we can put it there. And then the requested chest should ask for the rocket fuel. And just say a hundred. So they will bring a hundred rocket fuel right here. And that's going to put that on the belt. And that belt is going to go around. And put it inside the first system. Then also an off uh, thing go to the second. This one had, still has enough work for you. And then to the third one. So all these things will just uh, be full, be filled with on train. Yeah, be filled with um, with fuel eventually. Is it working yet? Oh, there it's coming. It's going. It's going to slowly fill up. As you can see right here. We don't have much right now. Or do we? Maybe we do, maybe we don't, I don't know. So that's the first thing I wanted to do this episode. We can remove that. Uh, because we do have a refuel train that I want to use in the end. But the problem is that it's going to be right here something. Because we need four of these. So this is going to be fourth one. Because uh, iron plates, copper plates, steel plates. Or only, do we only need three? Maybe we're going to do something stupid and do stone too, so we need four. Just pretend that I have hiccups. That's awkward. So let's go to the thing and just pick one normal storage chest. Um, I've been protecting the base quite often, so I really should do something about that soon too. Because it's, it's, it's frustrating to protect the base against invasions and that kind of things. Um, I want these, I want twos. Just get 20 more or 40 more. We're gonna place them somewhere, I don't know yet where. But the problem is that we have quite a lot of oil and wanna get it rid of. It's not rid of, it's gonna store it somewhere. And what we needed is some of these. Some of these, I just want to walk around with them because we need them some places. Like also uh, these and those, we just need them sometimes. Oh, uh, one more sec of those. And then this one, speed me just, just need to keep on going. They're just waiting for something, all right? So again, what was I'm, I'm was looking for one of these. All right, there we go. Oh yeah, I want to do pipes first. I know I want to. I said that I'm gonna wanted to do the um, the science thing, but that's not in my roots at the moment. Because I first want to fix this oil issue that we have, because we have too much oil, and that may sound weird that you could have too much oil. But I don't want to lose uh, precious time. Although in the end we don't need it. Um, well, that's that's an odd saying. But um, if I'm getting attacked right here and I lose this, I could also all, always recapture. Uh, but I wanted to drain it. That's kind of the thing, and that's why this buffer is here. Uh, for now, I just want to extend the buffer. I will tank it to something somewhere else later on, maybe, or just drain it because we could get more oil uh, things. But before I set up the Great Wall, uh, I want to keep using this buffer. It's now empty. Let's also try to fill in a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's all I have. All right. So what we then do is, I know this is some backup buffer then, or not use a pump because we're now using a pump to pump it right there instead of doing that what we could do mm, I rather have something pump right here because then I could do some underground stuff and have not a lot of problems with uh, the pipe system
and then I want to connect this one up to the one above somehow. Uh, I cannot go through this, so that's a, that's that's a, that's a no-no. What I could do is because uh, I want to remove this eventually. I should do like something like this, and now I know that I, that I can get there. So we could do something like this. Get that away. Put that there. Then the only thing you need to do is just hook up a pump, an underground belt, and make sure there's a lot of pressure in that belt. So something like this. And this will make pressure. Put it all in here. So this one, these one all does always need to be full. Uh, it's connected to here. So probably all I want to do is make a second one or something. Or just hook it up right there. So this one is filling this tank. Uh, and still oil can go through and filling that tank. But it just doesn't fit in the pipe or something. I do not know. It's just full. Let's say that way. So this tank is slowly filling up, these ones are slowly going empty and somehow this system does not work. Which is really hard, because why doesn't it work? Does it miss something? It is not missing anything. Is this missing something in the middle? No, I did not do that, I believe. Huh? There's something wrong with this, this design. So it is hooked up and it's open read, read sensor. So at least that should read now. So that does read. So it gives the sensor one of, or I open, but it does not respond to that because I think it wants a zero or something. And yeah, so basically there's something wrong with my blueprint and that is. Oh my moly, let's be safe. It's not working. So I can walk here. So it does close. If I keep walking, will it be good? Sort of. But we rather have something like a wall in the middle or something. I do not know how to do that safely. At least if you walk through. Does it give a green sign? Yes, it does give a green sign in the middle, so it needs a wall or something. So this would be first. Oh, the problem is that that's connected to that. So I need one that is not connected. So that's connected to a wall, and that's connected to a wall. So I need something that's not connected to that. Uh, well the best thing we could do is just something like this, I guess, and the highest one. So wall wall so this one could go one down and hopefully that will make sure that i do not die so you should be connected to the network you should be connected to the network and then you should be copied there and there meaning that it doesn't wink anymore if we walk through which will be safer Although there's no safe spot in the middle, because if you keep standing here, that will be a problem. But it's okay. It's okay. It's good enough. Uh, and I need to do something about the lights, apparently, because it doesn't give a red sign. Yes, this should now be red, but it is not, because it's not hooked up or something. I really need to have a look at this. I think maybe it's backwards. I don't know. I will take a look at it later on. For now, I'm just gonna watch iron a little bit. It seems that it's doing okay. It's doing a job production of iron play. It should be way out of the sky, Boop, like that. So that's all fine. So for now, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Let's send this train away because it's unbalancedly loaded. And if I oh, now it's gonna jump something there. No problem. Because next time it will put it that some somewhere like there
Uh, but for now, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you another time soon. Have a nice day, and goodbye.